From working with endangered ocelots to growing native plants for habitat restoration, the Caesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute at Texas A&M University in Kingsville is the leading wildlife research organization in Texas and certainly one of the finest in the nation. Fred Bryan is the director of the Institute, which was founded in 1981 with a grant from the Caesar Clayburg Foundation for Wildlife Conservation. From the time he came here in 1900 till he died in 1947, he loved South Texas and he loved the wildlife. Referred to by many as the father of wildlife conservation in Texas, Caesar Clayburg of the King Ranch spearheaded efforts to protect and manage wildlife on the ranch and helped establish game laws in the state and nation, such as the duck stamp legislation. Today, the institute that bears his name proudly carries on his legacy of wildlife conservation. Uh, we're basically a privately funded institute embedded in a public university, which is a little different model. There's not many programs like this in the country. The institute consists of 17 full-time scientists and some 65 graduate students involved in an array of studies from white-tailed deer to migratory birds. Uh, we cover a region that's about 32 million acres we think, <laughs> thereabouts, from Del Rio to San Antonio to Victoria and South. And there is certainly no more important region for the Institute to focus on. And South Texas is a special place, as you know. We call it the last great habitat for a reason. Uh, it's one of the most biodiverse regions in North America, uh, maybe in the world. With your Nature Report, I'm Richard Moore.